Uh, it's Mike again with another video. Um, today we are going back to Stratotech um, to do another lapping event. So I'm pretty pumped. Um, I fixed some issues that I had last time. Uh, if, of course, if you want to go back to the video um, to see uh, the last Stratotech video, of course, I, I go over some of the stuff from my first lapping event um, for Speed Freaks um, over at Stratotech Park. I'll probably link it just up here um, if you'd like to head over there and, and check the last experience. So um, today is my first day doing the intermediate um, registration because last time of course when I went um, you started as a novice if you've never been at that track before which is understandable so then you're gonna get instructions so either you're gonna have a driver with you um, or I believe you'll be uh, having also a chase car I think you you can ask or depending on how the day goes but usually you have an instructor with you and he'll kind of go um, through the layout of the track um, how to take some of the corners braking entry exit stuff like that um, and all the basics until you, you're deemed kind of a competent competent driver that you can do it out on your own so today I'll be out on my own which is great I'm pretty stoked um, so hopefully the biggest thing I want to do is not so much um, just with racing of course the other people are going to be there today um, but improving on my times and just and just perfecting um, just just my skills with the track in general and working on a few issues but as as I was getting at before um, a few issues that I had last time that I fixed for this time um, first off, it was super hot that day. So it was like 37 degrees or something like that, I think. So with track temps, they were actually a lot hotter. So my brakes um, were, 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 I was getting a lot of uh, brake fade. So I think the reason also for that was me just being a noob and uh, a lot of late braking as well too and just being really hard on the brakes. And, and that type of track is pretty demanding on, on the brakes. Um, so of course I heated up and I, I ended up losing my brakes for a little bit. Um, not so much the pads, but just a lot of brake fade. So I ended up stopping a little bit earlier. Um, but this time of course I upgraded the brake fluid um, to a fresh uh, batch of dot four fluid. And then I also have another, from my last video of course, I also have a new short shifter. Um, so it'll be nice, it'll, it'll be a different feel to track. Um, so hopefully I get to play around with that a little bit more today um, and just get more experience with, with that shifter in particular with the car, especially in this type of setting. Um, so right now, if you see in the back, um, with any track day, um, at Speed Freaks of course, or at, at most track days, I would expect you'd have to do something similar, but I'm just gonna go over my engine of course. Um, take care uh, or look at all my fluids, make sure everything looks good. Um, same with my suspension. Um, take a look underneath, make sure everything's tight. Um, actually, I'll just show you over here. Just go around a little checklist, just so you guys kind of know, I guess through my eyes, kind of what I'm doing here. So you're provided a checklist on their website as well. So there you go, Speed Freaks, Strata Tech Park, open lapping days, self tech inspection form. So it goes through a bunch of check marks. Um, so suspension, I've already done a bunch of this. Everything looks good. Um, and of course, engine drivetrain. Make sure, of course, you have a helmet. Go over all your information. And then there's also, of course, all the seatbelt requirements, batteries, brakes, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. So I just sent that off. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna head out, meet up with XS Company here shortly, and then we're all gonna cruise down to the truck. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked, man. I always love track days. So uh, we'll see you there, either at Excess or possibly at Strata Tech in the next clip. <laughs> okay, see you guys soon. I'm with the Excess uh, guys, and we're just going for a quick pit stop over the gas station and then off to Strata Tech. Stratotech and yeah it should be a pretty full day should be good So before I get everything started, I always check my tire pressure. I'm um, just coming off the highway, so I got this little eliminator booster pack with AC compressor. So usually I'll probably get it to maybe about 26 pounds to start, and then I just have it dialed in for 22, but this is that way it starts up. But 26.6 I'll probably start with. And then after my first lap, um, 
then I'll usually see how much more the pressure is, um, if it's jumped up quite a bit, just from, um, just as tire temperatures get a lot hotter. And then I try to keep it, you know, below 32 on with this car, so and it seems to be pretty good, it seems to be pretty grippy, so. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys as well. group is up next and then our intermediate group is right after that so I'm gonna mount the camera and then we'll take you through warm-up lap and then I'll keep it rolling and we'll get like a full lap as well too and hopefully put down some decent times Since that night? Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah. Just remember, man, straight line, get your braking done, your shifting done, and then send it. Yeah, I'm stoked. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good first two warm up laps, and then yeah. I think I'll be good to go again. Good. Good. Well, yeah. if you catch me and I don't have a student, and you want me to come. Sounds totally. good, man. All right, awesome. Thank you. So that was Dan. He was my instructor from the last time I was at Strata Tech Park um, when I signed up as a novice. Um, he was really good uh, with instruction on what I should or shouldn't do, um, being the first time actually doing some laps at the track. Um, but everybody out here is friendly. Um, and whether you're a novice, intermediate, or you're a regular here, the atmosphere is, is great. Um, which makes it an enjoyable time every time I come out here as well. So um, let's forward, fast forward this video a little bit more um, just so we can get into the first lap and we'll go from there. First lap, uh, just doing a slow warm up lap and then uh, the next lap around I will uh, send it a bit more and go from there.
so as we're getting close to the end of this lap, um, I'll probably fast forward a little bit to a little bit more traffic and some overtakes. Um, with this track being a little bit narrower and some some passing areas that are a little bit tougher than others, um, there's also a point by system. So if someone ahead of you feels like that you're a lot quicker coming up into a corner, they will point you by as a courtesy so you can make the pass or overtake and continue your run. Um, so uh, these next few clips I'll show you possibly one or two overtakes and hope you enjoy. As an example of that point by system, um, this Civic up ahead, his pace has slowed down a bit. Um, so his hands out the window there and he's pointing me by. So I will make this quick pass and continue my run into the next turn. On this next clip up here, um, we're coming up on the back straight, which is one of the faster straights in the track. Um, I see an RSX ahead of me, so I am going to try to reel him in on this lap, and hopefully we can make the pass on this one. and coming around that first corner onto the main straight and there's no traffic and it looks like we will be catching up to some people up ahead. So I didn't end up catching up to that pack. Um, they actually were pretty quick um, but the checker flag was waved on that last lap, so I ended up taking a cooldown lap after. So this is the end of my cooldown lap, so I'm about to pull back into the pit area uh, to cool the car down. Um, as I went into the pit area, however, I did notice that my brake pads were pretty much shot, so this ended up being the last run of the night for me. And uh, I'll go over my thoughts um, of the whole event later in the video but for now we'll uh, watch some of our friends at the track until then <laughs> and a friend of mine also got some footage of my car as well um, from an outside perspective, so kind of cool to see my car go around the track here as well. Stratotech 
Um, it was a great session. Um, it was nice to be on my own for this one. Um, I actually improved on times from last time. Um, last time I went out, I did uh, 1 minute 19 seconds. And then this time, I think my first session out did a 118. And then I got it down to 116. But I know there's tons of room to, uh, to improve uh, just my braking and where I was accelerating. Um, and just following the proper line. So there's tons of improvement. Um, you probably see that from, uh, or you might even notice where I could improve, of course, just by watching the video um, or a couple of laps. Of course, I showed you earlier um, in this in this video as well. Um, but I know my brake pads are definitely toast. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to get those replaced for the next time I go out. Um, but other than that, um, I did encounter much of the brake fade that I had um, the previous video. Um, that's probably also due to the temperatures out of the track as well as the brake fluid as well. I could have made a big, big difference there. Uh, as for the shifter, it was great. It felt really good. The car felt solid, uh, just like it did last time. Uh, really well balanced. Uh, I didn't have a lot of understeer or oversteer issues uh, this time around as well. So um, I'm really happy with how my ISC and uh, one suspension is performing as well. So uh, tires are starting to get a little bit toast. So uh, right now I'm running the Michelin Pilot Sport AS3s. Uh, they're the they're not like a really like a great track tire in terms of like the wear um, or the softness of course or the grip uh, they have like a 500 uh, wear rating roughly I believe I don't quote me on that um, but a lot of the guys running out here have like a lot softer tires like in the 200 300 range so maybe I'll get like another set of wheels or tires just for track but it was great um, I hope you enjoyed some of the footage and uh, big thanks again to Speed Freaks stay tuned um, and of course uh, Motorsport Supplies for of course putting on these events every Monday uh, but I'll put a link down below in the description so if you decide that you want to register and you're in the Edmonton area um, it's, I'll put that down below so that it makes it a lot easier for you as well to, to do and to register for the next event but uh, other than that hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one see you later guys